The following exercises are suitable for these prosthetic knee joints. Apart from that, always consider the user's physical condition. Walking with small steps requires balance and technique. Within defined distance, Rika tries to take as many steps as possible with minimum effort. Franziska counts the steps with successful stance release. With every heat, the number of steps should be increased. Rika feels that she can achieve stance release even with very small steps. Franziska always encourages Rika to roll over the entire foot. This improves walking technique and Rika figures out the functionality of the prosthetic knee joint. Half foot size is the realistic step length where an advanced user is still able to walk quite fluidly. The knee joint bends slightly during initial contact and loading response when observing physiological gait. This movement serves as a shock absorber, relieves the musculoskeletal system and provides safety through a faster foot-flat position. Genium supports this motion pattern by the 4-degree preflex of the knee joint. Heel strike feels softer as a hard impact in knee extension is reduced. Genium guides the user nicely through the stance flexion movement via the adaptive yielding control. For automatization of this motion, regular training is recommended. Genium automatically adapts the swing phase behavior to changing walking speeds or changing weight of the shoes. Francisca uses an additional weight to simulate a heavier shoe. With fast walking speed, it's easy to notice that the knee joint just needs a few steps to adapt the swing behavior to the different weight. This adaptation ensures good toe clearance and an adequate position of the prosthetic knee joint before heel strike. Francisca explains circumstances when the knee joint detects stance release. Besides walking, this can also occur in other daily life situations if the criteria for stance release are fulfilled. Francisca encourages Reka to consciously trigger stance release. She learns when the knee joint releases into swing phase. The preflexion of 4 degrees relieves walking uphill significantly. Due to the knee flexion, full foot contact is achieved quickly, which feels safer for the user. Moving the center of mass forward is much easier. When walking downhill on shallow slopes, the knee flexion provides the same advantages. After achieving full foot contact, the center of mass moves forward and generates knee extension in terminal stance. This triggers stance release. When walking uphill and downhill, Reka trains to consciously allow knee flexion and therefore gets closer to a natural gait pattern on slopes. When walking downhill on steeper slopes, Stance release is not possible. Instead of this, Reka uses the yielding technique to walk over the flexed knee joint. Genium bends against the stance flexion resistance. With an upright body position, the center of mass stays constant over the foot. At the end of a yielding step, Genium allows stance release. Reka achieves more toe clearance when swinging the leg forward. Further information towards yielding, please see video MPK Training, Yielding Technique and Walking Technique on Steeper Slopes.